use the order of operations to simplify each expression. If you look at A and B, they look almost identical. But remember your order of operations. You start with the parentheses, then you do the exponents, then you do multiplication and division, and then you do addition and subtraction. So if you look on A, we would actually do 3 to the 4th first. This is essentially saying the opposite of 3 to the 4th. So it's like negative 1 times 3 to the 4th, or negative 1 times 3 to the 4th is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So let's see. Uh, 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 3 is 9. Uh, 9 times 9 is 81. And negative 1 times 81 is negative 81. So the trick with the exponents is if it's not in parentheses and it's just hanging out there, it'll automatically be negative. But if it's in parentheses like b, then that means the negative would be multiplying each time. So if it's inside and the exponent is even, then all the negatives would cancel out. So this is like saying negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. So negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. Negative 3 times negative 3 is also 9. 9 times 9 gets you positive 81. So that one small difference can make a big difference in your answer if the exponent is even. So like on 4a down here, that negative 4 to the third, because the exponent is odd, it doesn't really matter. It'll come out negative either way. So try these out. Pause here, and I'll work them, check them, 